and he's selling it to a museum to be preserved for all time, and he's selling it for a lot of money, which the fact that it's stolen is a little weird, but he's got like four-fifths of the set, right? He <laughs> owns Jesse, he owns Pete, he owns Bullseye, and he loses all of them. Yes, he does. <laughs> He loses all of them. That whole scene where uh, everything's getting kind of like lost, everything's starting to, like all the toys are leaving and shit. I was like, this this looks like airport propaganda to me. You know what I mean? Like, look, sometimes the luggage loses itself. I swear to God. I swear to God. Sometimes it's not our fault. The sometimes, luggage is lost on its own. Sometimes the luggage comes to life. And yeah. I love the idea that like the airport people came and like pitched this to Pixar being like, okay, hear me out. We've got a big problem with losing luggage. <laughs> so here's what we want. Can you do a full length feature CGI anime thing about how luggage comes to life and wanders off on fun little adventures? And Pixar was like, no, but I'll tell you what we will do. <laughs> We'll put you in Toy Story 2. <laughs> I'm and, telling you, dude. <laughs> that and, whole scene, I was like, yeah, I've had luggage do that before. <laughs> 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 